greetings. The uh, 29th, which is Tuesday, the 29th of September, 10.45 in the morning. And wow, I've already done a full day, I think. Um, first conversation this morning with Jonathan from uh, John Pickup from uh, Arkhancad. And we had a conversation this morning, which um, I actually taped, well, videoed from my screen. Um, we used Skype to put up John's screen onto mine and went through the uh, a couple of um, plugins he's got for 2010. Quite a useful one, really. And as soon as I get it, then um, I'll put it up as a freebie onto this onto the site. Um, but have a look at the uh, the interview with John and just see how good this little script is. Um, in a future uh, um, video, we'll look through the actual vector scripting that he put in for this. Um, and just a few comments on that. But in the meantime, just have a look at it and just see what you think. Hi, John. How are you doing? I'm doing very really well, Steve. Yeah. What's Thanks this? It's nice little um, trick you've got for me today about uh, about 2010. Well, I, I don't know if I if you saw my YouTube movie. I think you and I have probably discussed before the new trick with VectorX 2010, where you can tell a symbol whether or not it inserts in a wall. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, but if you grab a toilet like I've got here and you try to put it near a wall, it jumps into the wall and it binds itself into the wall and puts a break in the wall. Yeah, and absolutely. You can get around that by turning off this button, but you have to remember. And for me, it's always a bit of a problem to remember to do stuff, and sometimes I forget. But with VectorX 2010, if I just look at my insertion options here, Uh, in VectorX 2010 now, you can turn this off, this insert in walls. Oh, super. Now, what I've, so what I've done is I've made a little tool that will actually turn that off for you if you've got a symbol on the drawing. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of other things that are important, and these da these things go back to earlier versions of VectorX. And one of them is this option here where you should really tell VectorX what class you want your toilet symbol to go on. Oh, absolutely. So it automatically goes on the right class for you. Yeah. So I've built a tool. Let's just have a look at my tool. It's this one here. It's called, uh, I gave it a funny name. It's called something like um, Set Insertion Mode Wash and Basin. <laughs> yeah. So you click on this object there. Yeah. And it should have done its job. Let's just check. Now, if you have a look what has happened to the insertion options now, I've turned off the insertion walls. Yeah. And just in case, I've also put this on edge and told it to be no break. It's all part of my script. And I've also changed this as well. Custom glass. This is also part of the script, where I've forced the, my toilets and wash hand basins to go on a specific class. And all you have to do is to click on your symbols, one after the other, and that script will then force those insertion modes to be the same. So that won't ever insert into a wall. Even if it's clicked on up there. Yeah, Even absolutely there. super. What a neat little trick. And, and notice it's also forced to go on the class that I want. Yeah. Which is something you don't ever have to think about again. Oh, great. So I've given you that tool. It's now available for people to download off your website. Thanks, Thanks for John. Hosting that for me, Steve. Yeah, excellent. Thanks a lot, John. Um, that's just a really neat little tool. Um, I presume we've got more of these to come. I've got a couple more, and, and I, I wanted to um, give you a few more. Um, I've got a couple more to show you, but that's enough for tonight, I think. Okay. Thanks, John. Okay. So that was John's little uh, vector script. Um, as John said, he's given it to me to put onto the website so that you can download it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link onto um, a little form. If you can fill the form in with your email address, then I will um, post it onto you via email. Um, it's the easiest way for me to work at the moment. Anyway, hope things are well. Um, as John said, we've got other things to show you. And uh, also, uh, I recorded some of the conversation with John about the actual vector scripting and the language behind it. And I'll put that up as a separate post. Anyway. Hope you're all well, be good and be kind.